assemble to my glorious occasion. And as wonderful as it is, one day there will be no further need for this small and this beautiful work. But now we carry out the command of God. So I have 15 minutes or less to stand before you.
Water baptism is not a requisite to salvation, but it is a requisite to obedience. Amen. And so, an example, Jesus gave us an example of all righteousness. It is found in the book of St. Matthew, chapter 3, verses 13 through 17. Let's listen to the reading. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Let me back up. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to join unto John to be baptized of him. So John forbade him, saying, I have thee to be baptized of thee, and promised thou to me. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Suffer him, or permit him to be so now. For thus it fulfilleth, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all the righteousness. Jesus himself submitted to Jesus and gave himself as an example to be baptized by John as an act of fulfilling all the righteousness. And the Bible says, and when Jesus was baptized, went straight up out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending, like a dove, and lighting on him. And God the Father expressed his complete, his complete acceptance of Jesus' his Son and of the act that Jesus had just done. And the voice said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. God the Father was pleased with this action. And Jesus himself, some short time thereafter, just prior to ascending back to heaven, he gave us the great commission to call. The great commission that he said unto his disciples. He said, I want you to go into all of the world and teach all nations and preach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Now I want to say that we, some Christians, believe that we in a different formula. We want to say that we'll never let formula separate us. <laughs> there are some Christians who notice that the apostles when they baptize, they baptize in the name of Jesus. But we won't allow formula to separate us. We believe that Jesus is the only Son of God. We believe that salvation comes only through Jesus. Regardless of what others have said, when Jesus was here on the earth, many rejected him. Even those who should have accepted them, had they known the scriptures, they would have recognized who Jesus really was. But they didn't know who Jesus was. And it's sad that it's true that many people today still, after 2,000 years, still don't know who Jesus really is. Amen. There are many opinions, there are many things that are said, but I believe that the Word of God can speak. For itself. Give me just a few minutes and I'll be done. I believe that the word of God will speak for itself. John. Hallelujah. John said, In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. All things were made by God. And without him, there was not anything made that was made. And in him was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light shined in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. John was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of the light. That was the true light which lighted every man that cometh into the world. Jesus was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to 
to become the sons of God. Even to them which believe on his name, which was born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Bless God, Father. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Yes. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And John bear witness of heaven, and I said, This is he of whom I said, He which cometh after me is preferred before me, for he was before me, and of his fullness have all and grace for grace. The law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. No man hath seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he hath declared him. And this is the record of John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who art thou? And he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. Yes. Art thou Elias? And he said, I am not. Art thou that prophet? And he answered, No. And they asked him and said unto them, Who art thou that we may give an answer to them that sent us? What sayest thou of thyself? And he said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Yes. Make straight the way of the Lord, and said the prophet. Besides, and they which were sent were of the Pharisees. And they asked him and said unto him, Why baptizest thou then, if thou be not that Christ, nor Elias, nor that prophet? John said, I baptize with water. But there standeth one among you whom ye know not. He it is of whom I said he which is preferred before me, at the latter of whose shoes I am not worthy. And the next day, John seeth Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And John said, Behold. The Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. This is He, and I knew Him not. And I saw the Spirit of God descending upon Him. And I knew Him not, but He that sent me to baptize said, Upon whom thou see the Spirit of God descending and remaining, the same as He which baptized with the Holy Ghost. And I saw and I declared that this is the Son of God. Amen. And if we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness which God has testified of His Son. He that believeth on the name of the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not hath made God a liar because he hath not believed the record that God gave of his Son. And this is the record that he hath given us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He that hath the Son of God hath life. He that hath not the Son of God hath not life. Amen. I say unto you, have Son, have life. Have Son, have life. No Son, no life. No Son, no life. These candidates have received eternal life. Amen. They have been baptized with the spiritual baptism and now it is fitting and right in place that they now obey the command of the Lord Jesus to be baptized in water. What a glorious occasion it is. Congregation, I yield the floor.